guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Slimmer Shea here, aka Jasmine, and I'm back to you with Vlogmas Day 11. So today, is it Vlogmas Day 11? Yes, it is Vlogmas Day 11. I do apologize for not uploading on Vlogmas Day 10. I just wasn't feeling the content, so that's in the past. So today, I figured I'd just talk to you guys about a few of the different Netflix shows that I've been recently binge watching, which is why I can't get anything done. So I figured I'd give you guys like an updated list of what to watch on Netflix for January 2008. Team. All right, so y'all, I have a friend. Her name is Jazzy J Speaks. I'll put her information in the description box below. But she is always on me and telling me about all these new shows that I should watch. So the first one that I binge watched and I finished watching was Prison Break. Prison Break isn't on Netflix anymore, but you can find it online um, and watch it for free online. And Prison Break is really good show it has five seasons and it is a little bit older so I am late but if you haven't seen it you should watch it it's kind of about um this brother or these two brothers one of them is convicted for murder and they're trying to execute him and so then the brother tries to break him out of jail and he gets like the blueprints tattooed on his body yada 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 and that's kind of like a little summary of how the show starts so prison break is definitely a really good show if you're into like crime shows cliffhangers every episode has a cliffhanger twist turns it's a really good show um number two would be the 100 the 100 had me a little bit emotional because i connected like you develop feelings for these characters because, you know, you feel bad when people do them wrong. That's how I was feeling. I was feeling bad when people was doing these characters wrong. And so the 100 is about um, these kids. They're like delinquents or whatever. And they're in this little spaceship. And the spaceship's about to run out of oxygen. So they decide to send the child delinquents, 100 of them, down to Earth to see if it's inhabitable. So they're in this spaceship. This is like years, a lot of years after like now. So the Earth was like destroyed or whatever and they don't know what's on Earth. So they send these kids down here to see if it's inhabitable, but they really sending them down there because they don't got no oxygen for all of them. So they figured they'll just boot them off the ship. That show is kind of about survival. Um, almost like survival of the fittest, but then it shows you like compassionate um and humane stuff but then it also shows you like just straight survival is about surviving it's not about feeling so that that show has you like all over the place it's pretty good another one that's really good is black mirror black mirror is good for people who don't want to watch something sequentially they just want to choose an episode and watch it black mirror you don't have to watch it in order it's <laughs> Hello? Well, I'll talk to you about this later because I'm in the middle of filming. Black Mirror. Black Mirror, you don't have to start in any particular order. Um, these shows are very futuristic in the sense that technology is super advanced. Black Mirror is very interesting. Just watch an episode and just watch the entire thing through and then it'll be like weirdly intriguing. So, Black Mirror is a good one. Um, Shameless is a really good show. I have not completed it, Lord. I have not because it's, I feel like it's so many episodes. But since I finished Prison Break, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to watch Shameless and finish it. Um, but that one's really funny. Just like a dysfunctional family that is trying to make ends meet. And it, it's just very funny. Chewing Gum is a really good show. It's for more for like people who are corny like myself and just think corny stuff is funny um it's about this little girl is based in the uk and i don't know she's just funny so 
Um, I watched The Bright Movie. It was pretty good. It was like an action movie or whatever. Um, Will Smith acted very well in that movie. And that's pretty much it as far as like my top Netflix shows that I've been binge watching. Um, a few other shows that are really good that aren't on Netflix would be um, Shades. If you like crime shows, you should watch Shades of Blue. There's two seasons out so far. Blind Spot is currently in the third season and it's really good. Um, SWAT with Shamar Moore, that's a really good show. Your traditional Law and Order, SVU, Criminal Minds, CSI, all of those are great, phenomenal. Hawaii Five-O, all of that. Um, let's see, Insecure is really good. Black-ish is really good. I just started that the other day. I really like that show, and so is Grown-ish. And let's see, Quantico, Dear White People, Being Mary Jane. All those are really good um, shows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little ramble about different shows you guys can watch if you're definitely interested in like Netflix shows or um, just different new stuff to watch. Uh, those are all really good shows or movies so definitely check them out. If y'all have any good Netflix suggestions like anything I like like crime shows I like action shows I don't like too much like blood and scary stuff so not that but action movies action TV shows crime shows um, shows that leave cliffhangers I love romance um, stuff all of that if y'all have good Netflix shows that I should check out put it down below in the comment section so I can check them out. If you guys want more videos like this, y'all let me know in the comment section below as well. I also want to do an official Q&A for you guys, but y'all gotta ask me some questions. Every time I try to do a q and A, I post it on my Instagram and no one ever asks me any questions. So y'all need to let me know if y'all would prefer to ask me questions via my DM, my Snapchat, or whether y'all comment below or whether y'all want to comment on a certain video y'all questions because a lot of my subscribers are all on on YouTube and y'all ain't coming to my Instagram so if y'all don't know my Instagram make sure you follow me on Instagram right here at Slim Roche. and yeah I love you guys so 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 much thank you for tuning in to vlogmas day 11 I'm trying to go uh, ice skating finally tomorrow so hopefully I can vlog that for you guys to end the 12 days of vlogmas and at the end of the day without regrets love yourself and be you temple bye guys <music>